On one of my recent videos, I got a comment asking if I could talk a little bit about the band audition process at UT and how all of that works. So today I figured we could talk a little bit about that as it relates to not just saxophonists. Quick side note, even if you aren't majoring in music, there are so many ways you can be involved as a musician at UT. So first, let's talk about who's allowed to audition for a band. Contrary to some schools, there are no non-major ensembles at UT and everyone will audition for the same set of bands. Whether you're an engineering major or a music education student, everyone will audition for the same set of ensembles. Ensemble auditions at UT happen each semester, which can be different to some other schools that do it for the full year. So for the fall semester, the audition usually takes place one of the first days of school in August. And then for the spring semester, the audition happens in early December, right before school lets out for winter break. The way that the ensemble tier system works at UT is a little bit odd, but it actually works really well. So let me explain that. So when you audition, you can be placed into three different levels, the rotation, the wind symphony or the symphony band. The wind symphony and symphony band usually have three concerts each semester, which is pretty standard for college ensembles. So here's where it gets a little confusing. The rotation, which is the top group, is made up of three different ensembles, the orchestra, the new music ensemble, and then the wind ensemble, which is conducted by Jerry Junkin. Say you're a clarinet player and you're placed into the rotation, you will also have three concert cycles each semester. However, your semester might look a little bit different compared to others because you might be in the wind ensemble for the first cycle, the orchestra for the second, and then I forgot there's also the opera, which you might be on that for the third concert cycle. And then there are also some weird cases where you might end up doing five concerts a semester. We're in the wind ensemble for like the first two weeks, you do a concert, and then you hop right into the orchestra rehearsals for a week and a half, two weeks, and then perform a concert with the orchestra. This can look a little bit different for saxophone players as we don't really play in the orchestra and sometimes we're not in the new music ensemble. So most of the time we're just placed in the wind ensemble and then when there is a saxophone player needed for orchestra or new music ensemble, never really the opera, we'll be placed into those accordingly. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I did wanna show you what a audition packet would look like. Here's an old one just for you to take a look at. You can have up to probably about nine or ten different excerpts. Some instruments it's more, some instruments it's less. Usually they are excerpts from things that we might play for the upcoming semester, but other times they're just famous orchestral excerpts that are just good to work on, especially since most of us will be taking auditions in the future. If you want to keep up with what the bands are doing at UT, go ahead and follow U Texas Bands on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. The content over there is made and produced by Mike Librius, and it's some of the best I've ever seen. Like I said, any major can audition for those bands, However, there are several ways that as a non-major, you can participate in different ensembles at UT. The first and probably the most popular is LHB, which this is the Longhorn Band who performs at football games and across campus at different events. I would say LHB is probably made up of more than 85% uh, non-majors. It's really a great environment to be in and the football games are a lot of fun. I was in LHB freshman year and I made so many great friends and it was just a great time. And I strongly recommend LHB even if you're not a music major. Another thing you can do as a non-major is take lessons with the TAs with your specific instrument. Say you're a trombone player, you can register for a one or maybe it's two credit hour class. If you're looking to just keep your chops up, that's a good way to do it. And then if you're a saxophonist specifically, one of the coolest things we have at UT is the non-major saxophone ensemble. This ensemble is conducted and taught by the TA at the time, which right now it is Marina Sakalakis. You'll meet for an hour and a half on Wednesday nights. It's only a one hour class and you just get to work on really cool repertoire. Also, if there's enough people who want to do quartets, those will be formed and all of this will be performed on a non-major ensemble concert towards the end of each semester. Like I said, any non-major can join this group and it's a, a really high level performing group that plays some really cool things. So it's definitely something to check out. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, please comment down below. I'll see you next time. Peace.